This is how we discovered and harnessed one of nature's most powerful forces. Ancient sparks, the first observations. Electricity wasn't discovered. It was observed for thousands of years before anyone understood it. Around 600 BC, Greek philosopher Thales of Miletus noticed that rubbing amber with fur attracted lightweight objects like feathers. The Greeks called amber electron. This was the first recorded observation of static electricity. For centuries, that's all it was. A curiosity. Ancient Romans noticed electric fish that could shock you. Medieval scholars documented lightning strikes. But no one connected these phenomena or understood they were all the same force. It wasn't until the 1600s that scientists began studying electricity systematically. English physician William Gilbert conducted experiments and coined the term electricus to describe the force. But understanding electricity required more than observation. It required experimentation. And one of the most famous experiments in history involved a kite, a storm, and a man willing to risk his life. Capturing lightning, Benjamin Franklin's breakthrough. In 1752, Benjamin Franklin flew a kite during a thunderstorm in Philadelphia. He didn't discover electricity. He proved that lightning was electrical. By attaching a metal key to his kite string and observing sparks during the storm, he demonstrated that the same force creating static shocks was present in lightning bolts. This meant electricity was a natural phenomenon that could be studied and potentially controlled. Franklin's work inspired a generation of scientists to investigate this force. By the late 1700s, researchers across Europe were experimenting with static electricity and trying to understand what it actually was. They knew it could flow and shock, but they didn't know how to produce it reliably or store it.